Alrighty, just made it. Good morning and welcome to Ask the Doctor. I'm your host, Dr. Michael Lang of Lang Eye Care and Associates, the Lang Eye Institute, and four to five items here each and every day, Monday through Friday, 9 to 10 live, to answer any and all questions you may have regarding your vision and eye care. If you've got a question, phone lines are open. Remember, this show is dedicated to you, the listener, uh, so no matter how simple or complicated the question is, I try to answer it to the best of my ability. 1-866-977-4820, 1-866-977-4820, it's Wednesday morning, a little after 9, I uh, just flew in from Detroit, Michigan early this morning into Tampa Bay, didn't get much sleep, so if you're watching me live on the video screen right now, uh, I look a little tired, uh, but I'm here, kind of like the mailman, neither the rain, the snow, the sleep uh, will keep me away from Ask the Doctor. If you're new to the program, who's Dr. Lang? Well, I'm a board-certified optometric physician. I'm also a certified nutritional specialist. I've been hosting Ask the Doctor since April of 1993 on multiple radio networks throughout the great state of Florida and throughout the South, and also I'm now live video streaming throughout the world at Newstalk820.com. We are broadcasting today from Newstalk820 Studios in Tampa Bay, also simulcasting on a variety of networks as well. Uh, one of my favorite stations is uh, in, o in Hernando, Florida, Sunny 720, but another one of my favorite stations is in Ocala, Florida, and uh, that is WOCA, 1370 AM and 96.7 FM. So if you're listening and you've got a question, you can hear me in those areas. Uh, pick up the phones, give me a call. That's 1-866-977-4820. 1-866-977-4820. Uh, on the big show this morning, there was a guest uh, talking about all organically grown foods and, and eating for your health. Remember, food is medicine, and you are what you eat. I agree 100%. So try to stay uh, within those guidelines. It's called a paleo diet or a hunter-gatherer type of diet. And this is where you eat foods that uh, God put on the planet. You don't eat the processed foods, and uh, you eat a lot of vegetables and fruits, uh, good forms of protein, fish, grass-fed, beef, turkey, whatever it may be, and try to avoid uh, frozen foods and canned foods and everything that's processed, uh, and you will be healthier. I guarantee. That's my New Orleans accent coming out. All right, phone lines are open, 1-866-977-4820, 1-866-977-4820. We've got a very welcome guest in the studio audience. Uh, this morning with me, and uh, she's no newbie to talk radio because she's been doing it quite a bit now, and that's Dr. Kathy Dow. Good morning, Kathy. Good morning, Dr. Lang. How are you? I am doing fantastic. Are you preparing for the holidays? I am. I'm still trying to finish up some last-minute shopping. <laughs> yeah, me too. I'm going to start my last-minute shopping today, as a matter of fact. And uh, I, I did buy some things for the kids up in Detroit, so I did a little shopping in Detroit. Um, let's talk a little bit about everybody's getting ready to eat and to feast, uh, to eat heavily during the holiday season. And, you know, let's talk a little bit about moderation. Isn't it true that we should just eat a little bit less? Of course, everything is in moderation. You know, if you want that chocolate cake, you can have some, but not the whole cake, just a little bit. Um, you know, we were talking a little, a little while ago about portion sizes and... Um, different portions, you know, what a normal portion size is, and I brought up a couple points last time that, you know, a piece of meat, a piece of salmon, a piece of fish, um, is really only supposed to be the palm, the size of the, your palm, or a deck of cards, so think about that next time you're sitting down to eat, and then also with your vegetables and everything, your plate should be colorful, you want all the different colors and um, different foods that, so you can get all the different nutrients. And, and when we talk about uh, fruits and vegetables and we talk about a serving, the same thing, a serving, like you said, is about a handful. So a handful of broccoli, a handful of uh, goji berries. Ah, there we go. Let's talk about goji berries for a minute before we get into uh, talking about the dirty dozen. Goji berries, especially USDA orga certified organic goji berries, have some really powerful uh, nutritional components to it. It's one of the, the best sources or the most nutrient-packed fruit in the, in the world. Uh, but the thing about goji berries that I really like, especially for all of our listeners out there that potentially have eye problems, and that's all of us, as we age, we potentially have eye problems. Uh, goji berries are the highest source of uh, carotenoid called zeaxanthin. Uh, zeaxanthin has been shown to actually impregnate into the macula, 
uh, replenishing the macula pigment density even better than lutein from dark green leafy vegetables. Zeaxanthin has also been shown to have some true anti-aging uh, effects, especially in the eye, called anti-VEGF. This is also anti-carcinogenic. It stands for anti-vascular endothelial growth factor. It helps to stop some of these irregular blood vessels uh, from growing into the retina and leaking profusely, and that's what we call diabetic retinopathy, wet macula degeneration. So eat more goji berries or take some uh, goji extract, and the goji extract is in our Fortify Vitamins, in our Fortify One a Day, our Fortify Complete Plus, our Fortify Macula Defense. But I always say eat the whole foods as well. Not only take a good nutritional supplement that's backed by clinical studies, but eat the food that God put, God put on the planet. Goji berries are difficult to find. You want to find goji berries that are USDA organic certified, number one, and needs to say that on the bag. Uh, the best goji berries are coming from Tibet. Uh, some of them come from the Himalayas as well, as well but the Tibetan or the Tibetan uh, goji berries are supposedly the best, and they want to be dry. If you open up a, a bag of goji berries and they're like raisins, they're little prunes and they're moist, that's not good. They're potentially already going rancid. So you want to be very dry. We actually found some, thanks to Greg over at Ming Ming Tea, was able to get some from the Tibet region that are actually delicious. I stopped by the Lang uh, Sun and Nutrition Center this morning on the way in and had a cup of organic green tea and a handful of goji berries. So. I'm ready for the rest of the day. But goji berries also have one of the highest ORAC values of any fruit known to man. Uh, ORAC value is oxygen radical absorbency capacity, or how much a, a particular food can combat against free radical damage, which is basically aging. So the ORAC value of a handful of blueberries is about 2,000, give or take. The ORAC value of a handful of goji berries is close to 30,000. So eat more goji berries. And people are going, well, where the heck do I get goji berries? That's difficult to find. You've got you to go to a health food store. Some good organic health food stores will have goji berries. Uh, the reason I opened the Lang uh, Sun and Nutrition Center on Drew Street and US 19 right there in Campus Walk Plaza was to be able to have these things for my family and for my patients and for the public out there. So we just got a whole big box of these uh, USDA uh, certified organic goji berries in <clears throat> at the nutrition center. I think they're about $15 for like a pound or a half pound bag. So try some goji berries and, and start eating for your health. Remember, food is medicine. All right, phone lines are open. I'm Dr. Michael Lang, your host. It is Wednesday morning, uh, the Wednesday before Christmas, so Merry Christmas, uh, Happy Holidays. If you've got a question, one 877 4 that's one 877 Dr. Kathy Dow, who has a degree in nutrition, and she's also a certified optometric physician. Myself, I'm a certified nutritional specialist as well as a board-certified optometric physician. We're both uh, primary eye care providers for Lang Eye Care and Associates. We have nine locations uh, throughout Florida. We're located in Gainesville, Florida, Ocala, Florida, two locations in Ocala, we're in uh, Inverness, Florida, in Times Square, Williston, Florida, right there on the hospital campus, Summerfield, Florida, in Bailey Plaza, the Lang Eye Institute in the Villages, and then we have the two Clearwater locations, uh, the new Lang Optical Gallery and LASIK Center on US 19 and Sunset Point in Sunset Plaza, and uh, the new Lang Sun and Nutrition Center, a new concept that we've opened right on Drew Street and US 19. If you'd like to set up an appointment to see any of our doctors, we have close to 20 doctors now at the Lang Eye Care locations. Remember, we do everything from routine eye exams, contact lens fitting, glasses, to cataract surgery, retinal surgery, glaucoma surgery, LASIK uh, refractive surgery, to medical treatment and nutritional intervention for eye diseases. So you can come by any of the Lang Eye Care locations for that. Our oculoplastic specialist, that's Dr. Kyle Ball, which really hails from our Ocala location. So if you want to see someone certified in complete facial cosmetic surgery and also a great ophthalmologist, a great cataract surgeon, Dr. Kyle Balch, uh, at the Lang Eye Care location right there across from the mall on State Road 200, a large two-story building. You can't miss it. As a matter of fact, I'll give you the phone number that goes directly to those operators, and if you want to set up an appointment at either location, any location, uh, you can just call this toll-free number. It goes directly to our Ocala operators. You just tell them which office you want to be seen at uh, and uh, which doctor you want to see. one 781 
2020. That's one 781 2020. All right, Dr. Dow, let's talk a little bit about, you know, we talk about dark green leafy vegetables uh, for our patients with macular degeneration. Well, a lot of people should be eating different types of dark green leafy vegetables for the holiday season, right? What kind of nutrient is in spinach, kale, collard greens that's beneficial, and should they be eating these uh, organically grown, or should they just be eating it regular greens off the shelf? We always, of course, recommend organically grown because you don't want those extra pesticides and I don't even know what else gets sprayed and um, put on those. And a lot of times, those greens and vegetables that you get in the stores and the bags, they have a lot of preservatives and stuff on them, even green like that. Um, and also, when you're cooking them, you know, we always recommend just lightly blanching them. You know, you don't want to wash away too many of the nutrients. But the dark leafy greens gives you a lot of the nutrients that you need for your eyes, a lot of these um, antioxidants and carotenoids, and <clears throat> a lot of it, it has a lot of vitamin A. That's why we don't want to, we don't recommend, you know, extra vitamin A. Just spinach has a lot of vitamin A, folate, iron that you need. Um, you know, a lot of people think iron just comes from meat, but spinach has a almost 6.4 um, milligrams in it. And then kale, turnip, collard greens, you know, a lot of these you're going to be seeing around Christmas time as one of your sides. So also has a lot of vitamin E, and spinach actually has protein. Right. You know? And very high in lutein. Yes. And you know, those of you out there that are concerned about uh, you know eating dark green leafy vegetables because of kidney stones, because of the oxalic, oxalate or oxalic acid in it, uh, you could actually eat turnip greens instead of uh, spinach because there's a lot less uh, in collards and turnips than in spinach. I mean, like 10 times less in it. Uh, but I wouldn't worry too much about that. Most of you don't have kidney stones. All right, we've got a lot of people on hold. You're listening to Ask the Doctors this morning, Dr. Michael Lang of Lang Eye Care and Associates and Dr. Kathy Dow, also of Lang Eye Care and Associates. Let's go to the phones. Uh, let's see. Lewis in Ocala, good morning. Welcome to the program. Lewis. Yes, Lewis. <laughs> yes, I'm trying to find out about um, anything, any kind of food or nourishment that can retreat the progression of cataracts, reduce the size, or make them go away at least a little. Uh -huh. Good question. Uh, th and that's going to be a difficult thing to actually naturally reverse. However, you can be proactive in slowing down cataracts, okay? Uh, there are some studies that indicate that if you eat uh, uh, a substance or a, a nutrient, really it's, it's a, uh, you shake it on your food, a, a spice called curcumin or turmeric, okay? Uh, these are very powerful at helping to slow down cataract formation. Now, will it reverse the cataract? That's a good question. I don't think it will. Also, green tea, the polyphenols from organically grown tea, green tea have been shown to help actually uh, reduce cataract formation. Lutein, all right, from dark green leafy vegetables, especially organically grown kale, uh, may help decrease the chance of developing cataracts. So, eat your kale, spinach, collard greens, uh, drink some green tea, uh, wear a good pair of sunglasses as well, and sprinkle curcumin uh, on, your, on your greens when you're eating them. All of those can ultimately help uh, with your cataracts. There are some uh, things out there, uh, carnosine, which is a nutrient, that they're putting in eye drops now, and they're actually stating that it does help with cataracts. And I've seen the studies, and I'm not real impressed with the studies. I think the improvement in visual acuity may be just related to the uh, lubricating properties that are, are getting from these eye drops. So I wouldn't put a lot of faith in the eye drops currently that are made for uh, uh, anti-cataract drops. So at this point in time, eat more fruits and vegetables that are organically grown, wear a good pair of sunglasses, use some curcumin, um, and uh, drink some green tea. Great. I'll do that. Thank you so much, Doctor. I appreciate your help. All right. You take care and have a great holiday season. Thank you.